Hey there, fellow scouts, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, Episode 52, Recalling Reconnaissance. So the current priority is scout out for the rest of the enemy settlements. While I have... Huh. I'm trying to think of... Um, let's see here. I wouldn't mind igniting the stuff, but I need cloth for it. Oh, man. Fine, I'll plant cotton. Is there any other fire-based spells? I know I could just grab fire pots. Maybe that's what I'll do. Rogi, where are you? Go get the fire pots. I don't know why you over anyone else. I just want to burn them up. It's a blight. If I set the fire too big initially, it's just going to cause rain though. So this will probably trigger rain, but oh well, whatever. Yeah, here comes the rain. Boo. The game's going up. Oh, you might not have the processing power for, you know, a small fire, so let me put it out for, for you. Just room world things. So I think the days of food kind of updated. Zgaldir's days of food changed pretty significantly. Oh, you know, maybe it's because he's like, with all of his stamina stuff, his hunger rate's gone up or something. That's a thought. So, Rylus, you ask, does dying to the bone shards of your compatriots' uh, corpses exploding count as friendly fire? Mm. It counts as something. I'm not sure if it's friendly fire, but it's definitely something weird. Maybe he's sprinting next to a source. Yeah, you know, that's... Uh, I wouldn't put it past him. Caravanning has never been my favorite thing in RimWorld, and I'm pretty vocal about that. But I don't... I think they're all riding. I could check their movement per day. Yep, multiplier from ridden animals, 160%. Uh, Thomas is also riding, and Isgaldir is also riding. So they were riding. Just maybe not well. Sahambik's so getting a better picture of the northern reaches of the island. Seems to be a bit of a mountain range, but no settlements. And then once we get out of this like thick, horrible mountain here, we'll be able to move a lot faster. This is just like all swamp and mountains and caves. Just takes a very long time to traverse. Okay, so here's the northern uh, section of the mountain. There's no settlements. So I'll have Hambick go northwest now, marking out the northern range. Which kind of overlaps with its Galdir a little bit, but yeah, oh well. Actually, no, let's not oh well. I'll have his Galdir turn south and uh, and help mark the south down. Seems like there's more to search this direction than that direction. Colin is getting pretty happy uh, being left at, ho at home with where R&R &R is plentiful. There was the thought of trying to put um, maybe shield and demon slayer 
So let's try to get a, uh, let's try to get some Demon Slayer up. I mean, why not? If we have the materials, I'll do it. So the raw materials for it is, we'll go with steel. It's 500 of any metal, and I don't really have 500 plasteel. And also, it's weird that plasteel is even a viable material. So Tal, let's go get that wonderful Demon Slayer. So it's the one class that I've really been neglecting. We made sure that our uh, mages were wearing proper armor and our even crimson, but then everyone else, the, the slaves obviously don't matter, but um, our casters never really got the, the same treatment. So now we're trying to rectify that. Or our uh, melee airs, rather. Also somewhat because the material costs were like absurd and are absurd, but. That's fine. Ignifolio, thank you for the reset. Okay, uh, Tal straight up ran out of mana doing that. It's a big project. Takes a lot of work, I think. But I do have magic as like a number one for just about everyone here that can use magic. So we should fill these uh, capacitors up soon. Continue that. Uh, Stichius's mana pool is ridiculous. You don't even sleep, do you? No, you really don't. You don't even have feelings anymore. Not, not really. Well, those portals are nice and full now. Really, Gondor? Like the last one you didn't learn lessons? I mean, that's, that's fine. They're really trying to push back. I kind of like, I actually kind of like it. It's not going to work for them, but like, you know, good, good for them. All right, let's go kill some gun, some more Gondorian. It's too bad they're interrupting the demon plate uh, uh, creation. So this is a prepare while raid. I'm going to hit the Northwest party first. They seem pretty isolated. They don't have anyone special, as far as I could tell. Looks like the terrain heading Southwest sucks. And we're hitting the Northwest edge of the island as well. Are the eastern doors open? Uh, one of them is. This one. They're kind of hanging out around it, though. That's a good point. I'm going to have Bergen just um, head over there. As like an insurance that they just don't walk in. I'm right, doing the nuclear attraction here. Because it's hilarious. Bye. Okay, that's just... Uh, I love that. Maybe the next one I'll do storm and summon some storms. Some Dave and Jay Fry combination. They've got good mana pools. With everyone else to wait in his backup. Start off with a lightning cloud. Get some stuns going. And turn those stuns into something nasty. Stunning. All right, I see that bow person. Hey, it's Mr. B.
Right, let's get cover, because we're going to get shot at. These guys are getting pretty screwed over. And, uh, shield. We don't use you nearly enough. Oh, look, they're fleeing. Get out of here. Last group. I'm not even gonna go after the fleers. Can't be bothered. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, and the last group here, no one's special. So we are just gonna greet them as they arrive. Maybe stickiest. You want to uh, you want to demonstrate some powers here? Yeah, let's do that. Of course, the problem is I was trying to clean up the map tile, and now we just made it worse. Hello. You have arrived. Oh, you dropped your weapon? Yeah, I'm sorry, but we don't believe in that. Disarming yourself doesn't ensure survival here. It just makes cleanup more annoying. Bye. Well, there goes three raids. It wasn't much. And the plate is done. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's just on the ground. So, um, max energy increase 30%, ability cost minus 20, energy regen 20%, ability bonus 30%, resistance 30%, ability cooldown minus 20%. With a um, incoming damage multiplier reduction of 35%. Uh, healing, pain, move speed. Man, it is ridiculous. So let's stick that on. And the Valiant Armor can get inherited. Wow, it makes also him look like a beefcake. Uh, will be inherited by Bergen. He looks like honestly straight up silly. If I do say so myself. I don't... Yeah, it... Just that look, it just looks goofy. Uh, maybe there's a better helmet to put on you, though. I mean, we have a little bit of downtime. I wouldn't mind using more melees in the fight. They're just hard to use at times. So let's do a great adorned helmet, maybe. That's a 94 sharp. Is there something better? Oh, there, there. I mean, there's magical helmets, of course. Maybe I'll consider one of those. Paragon 92 with a melee hit chance bonus. Versus Valiant. It's a plus zero percent. What? Why even what? <laughs> I'm confused. Why mention it if it doesn't I have a stat. How is it? How? Well, okay. So Paragon is probably the best. So, so Paragon would help him hit more often for a sharp 92. So that's what to beat. So then compare that to the rest of the medieval helmets of a great helm, oh, which would be 94. Yeah, I'll do a Paragon helm. Fine. X42, thank you for the resub.
It's really too bad I never ended up getting a Death Knight, but you know, can't always get what you want. Okay, Hambick has um, fully mapped out the Northwest um, Peninsula. There's really not much up there, so he's going to work his way down. We have not yet found uh, any new enemy settlements, but hope to find them soon. Masterwork. All right, not bad. Now, how goofy is Shield going to look? Pretty goofy. On a scale of one to goofy, that's pretty up there. Like, almost silly enough to bring tears to my, to my eyes. Wish I, I wish I had the camera mod just to be able to zoom in more. He doesn't look so much scary as he just looks... It looks like the armor is like four sizes too big. Like it's some sort of SNL skit. Like he should be named Thick Knight or something. No, it's just my opinion. <laughs> but you know what he reminds me of? Uh, uh, what's his name? The Blue Whale Knights from Berserk. It looks like the main antagonist Blue Whale Knight, who was the obnoxious one. Uh, God, what was his name? Add-on or whatever. You'd have to see Berserk to know the reference, but it has some Blue Knight Whale Knight energy like you would not believe. Uh, so for those that don't understand, there was this big, fat, obnoxious uh, Blue Whale Knight who in Berserk they were tasked to take down. Or no, the Holy Purple Rhino Knight. I don't know. It's one of those. Um who just constantly he was annoying horrible voice constantly taunted everyone obnoxious he was misogynistic and he was like whoa we're the best we're the best and he was just like big fat bulky knight you know who used his girth as a weapon more or less and now shield looks like him and it makes me sad But you had voted on that, so I can pass blame to you all. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about taking the blame for that, but uh, it's officially yours now. Oh, we're mapping again. So south sucks to traverse. Like, really, really, really bad. There's a mountain range. It is passable because of cave systems, but it is nasty. And Stochastic Turtle, thank you for the bits. And Wasteland Puppy, it's always a pleasure to have you here, too. Welcome, welcome. So there is some impassable areas here. There's a mountain range that uh, we can't get by. Um, so I can get as close as I can try to get to see beyond it. But we might need to approach it from the other side. Uh, and Crimson Rust, thank you for the bits. Kicking off a, 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 off a hype train. Imagine hearing out in a con context using girth as a weapon. You know, yeah. Uh, I, I, I could be a little bit more careful about the, the words I choose to say. Rumworld has me say some pretty crazy stuff, though. I, I don't think there's a way to do a Let's Play of Rimworld without that being a recurring theme of, oh my lord, what did I just say? It, it's, it's almost as if... I would say it's a rite of passage. Just saying some crazy nutty stuff, playing Rimworld. It's a rite of passage. Isn't that how Ogrens do it in Warhammer? Yes, they use their girth as a weapon. They're literally called Slap. So yeah, that's that's another, I mean, it's like an armored uh, Ogren now, rather than Urukai. 
Well, holy hell, we haven't found anything. We have been scouting around on horses. Uh, Hambik is kind of running out of food. Uh, so there's that concern. His Galdir and Thomas are doing all right. So Hambik, you are unlimited food if we return home. So it's it's just the fact that you're in a desert. So Hambik will have to turn around soonish um, to start picking berries in the forest as because there's really just not food in the desert. We all also happen to be allied with the Servants of the Dark Lord, so Angmar is very happy with our progress. Uh, murdering those two settlements. He got a little impatient with us, you know, waiting for us to actually get to it. But now that we're doing it, he's like, hmm, maybe I did recruit the right. Maybe, maybe Tal and his uh, Corsairs are up to the task. Or maybe not, because my god, we are not getting through this stupid... Um, Jungle bushwhacking. Oh, hey! Paraborn, we found one. That's good. And Hambik is really booking. There's not much to slow you down in the desert. Oh, and now he got sick. Why did I open my stupid mouth? I don't know. I'm having its Galdir turn back. This looks like it's fully impassable. Unless there's a way to get there from Westlake. So I'll check. Yeah, he doesn't really have food. But he'll be in, in a, um... In an arid shrubland. Soon. Uh, trading with the surface of the Dark Lord? I'm gonna move on. I don't have anything worth trading. So there's... Oh, there we go! And we found Nephalus. So let's uh, let's work our way home. I want to map out a little bit more, but those are the remaining settlements that we need to destroy. So fantastic. I'll drink to that. Oh, uh, Westlake is a big lake. It's called a lake, so I suspect there's a way past it. It's not an inland sea. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got past it. I just need to find a way through this mountain range. Hambik, do you sleep? No, oh, there you go. Kind of surprised you just kept going. Worried about food? No, I'm not worried about food. I mean, look at this. I got more dried meat than Slim Jim. So here is the lovely Isle of Tefalus, almost fully mapped. I'm somewhat considering trying to create another demon uh, slayer plate for Bergen even though I think it's hideous looking. I think it's hilarious too. There's a little bit of hilarity in how silly it looks. So I'll do another Paragon Helm and Demon Slayer play. And just get my brawlers looking stupid. Oh, cool. And it, it, there is a, it can go through. Good. So everyone rally back home. Really? That's the fastest way? No, 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 no. That's like a suicidal way. Uh, have you two group up so that you can eat together. And Thomas will pass back home. Uh, so, oh, God. Hambik, your caravan is so cursed. He got food poisoning and then Sylvester Stallion just got the plague. Maybe as Galdir, you should just leave them. If, if they are to die, so be it. Or, you know what? Guerrero. Let's, um, let's practice something. Can you gateway? How does gateway work? Fold's reality, open a gateway, instantly move all pawns and items 
around target cell to the caster. Oh, it has to be uh, occupied by a map. Okay. Um, well, that will be on cooldown. Hambic, uh, you're just going to settle because you're like sick and, and everything around you is dying and you're out of food. So if there's anyone to practice gateways on, it is the sick and dying. So congratulations. You've gone, you've been promoted from stallion and, um, and succubus to guinea pig. You are a guinea pig now. I just have to wait a little bit for the cooldown. Nope, no one has good rapport with Stickiest anymore. Whoa, Stickiest's uh, social uh, tab is... How is that a bad rapport? What the hell? Oh, it's on cooldown. His social tab is like bugging out now. All right, come on, Guero. Don't have a mental break. Waiting for, uh, waiting for Gateway, please. So, you really, really, really don't have food. All right, let's collect agave while you wait for Guero to figure out how magic works. We did get the second Paragon helmet, so we're still waiting on the, the Slayer plate. And I have enough materials for it. Good. I think gold, silver. Yeah, we have enough materials. So these guys will take about two days to return. And then what I want to do is I want to pack up a caravan or a war party to take out both remaining settlements because the return trips kind of suck. Uh, okay, I guess. Getting a whole lot of plague. Not a fan. Not a fan of this new wave of plague. It's as if, 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 if the, uh, the elves know we're coming for them and they're starting to blight their own land as a scorched earth policy to slow us down. It's not going to slow us down. It's just going to piss us off. We're just going to make your, your deaths more horrible. Alright, Hambic. Um, so added to the dried meat and berries, we have to add agave fruit. Or he's gonna Oh, not the agave fruit that you pull out of the ground though. Oh no, that's uh okay, I did it right. Go eat raw agave. Yep. So very pissed about that. Yeah, for whatever reason, I can no longer mentor uh, Stickiest. Maybe it's like a lich thing. Like he's incapable of social, so... But it, it doesn't work both ways. I don't, I don't know. I won't pretend to know. The last few battles really have leveled up us up, though. Casting and killing, it has been good for learning. 
would have guessed. Poor Rogi. I haven't bothered to really bleed people, so Rogi's blood magic has really fallen behind. Guero has... Oh no, Guero is... Dave is caught up to Rogi in terms of levels, just about. Hmm. Why can't I, uh... This is weird. Hal can't seem to interact with the forge at all. Tall. 500 magic site, 500 metal. I got that. 50 silver, which is really 500 silver, which I got that. Oh, you know what? I don't have the gold. I only have 182 out of the 250 I need. That makes more sense. And unfortunately, Thomas isn't home. What I could do is attract meteors. I could try that. So that would be silver, magicite, and steel. So two things of steel, one of magicite, one of silver. Probably ultimately not going to be worth it, but whatever. We don't have a lot else going on. We'll try to call in golden meteors. Thomas will be home in about a day and change as well, which ought to help. Really? That didn't kill it? I'm just like messing around, but somehow or another that ostrich was like, Ha! Shadowbolt? Not enough! I'm a murder bird. And Havoc's like, uh-oh. I don't like murder birds chasing me. There you go. See, now you can practice your medicine, too. You shadow bolted the head off of that ostrich, that's great. If you're wondering, I am trying to torture him into having a mental break. Mostly so that when he gets home, he doesn't have yet another mental break. Or like, getting it out of the way. So the spellcasting or summoning materials have been delivered. And our mages are going. Gold, nice, we got it. So we got emerald. So I'm gonna mine up everything, might as well, right? Uh, but I'll mine up the gold first so we can use it sooner. I also got plasteel, like right in the base. <laughs> That's uh. That's uh, unexpected. Maybe we make it out of plasteel. You know what? I'm I'm gonna consider that. I mean, it's cheese, but at this point, it's like we're all already overpowered ridiculously. So it's like, what is a little bit extra cheese on top? It's just a garnish at this point. So our smelter needs to now smelt gold, not silver. And then we'll get that uh, lovely armor made up. I'm probably going to screw this up again, and I'm going to consider save scumming if I do it wrong. But um, just for Hambix's sake, let's try this again. Oh, the horse died? From the plague, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, it worked. Hammock's home. Gateway works as I thought it did. It just 
it's like a reverse far skip. Rips everyone home. Also, a whole bunch of uh, chunks that we didn't want. So he's got to work on his magic a little bit. But we're down to two horses. And uh, literally, oh my god. Right? Okay, whatever. At least it's a daze. It could be worse. But I was saying, like, I want him to have a mental break out there so when he gets home, he's fine. And then he gets home and he's like, you know what? I don't want to sleep outside anymore. And he freaks out. And it's like, dude, but you're you're home. Yeah, at least we got some horse meat. Some plague ridden horse meat. Mmm. Plaguey, plaguey horse meat. It's the worst kind of meat. So we ought to have the gold smelted done. I think it just... Yep, we have enough now. So, Tal. Instead of making the Dragon Slayer plate now, we're going to make it once this gold gets mined up, which is now. And then we're going to get the Plasteel. Because, you know, why not? Go for the most ridiculous armor ever. And hopefully it'll be legendary, and that would be even better. So Tal, let's hit uh, Work Drive on Shield. And get him to mine like a maniac. It would have been faster for all of our scout. Oh, what happened there? Oh, just a break risk. It would have obviously been faster for all of our scouts to converge on one point, wait together, and then get gated home. But, uh, yeah, whatever. All's well that ends well, or something. So here we go. Oh, no, that's not right. Or we're still missing some blast steel. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodomont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs. <laughs>